Hi everyone, since slingback shoes are a massive footwear trend this year, I wanted to do a review of the Versace Crystal Safety Pin Slingback Heels. Now I got the pink Versace heels because I love pink, but I'll talk about all the different colors options as well. So as soon as I saw the pink Versace Crystal Slingback Heels, it was love at first sight. I figured I'd get a ton of wear out of them. I know crystal and pink isn't the most practical, but I do have a lot of pink. And it really doesn't matter what slingback style you wear this year, whether it's slingback flats, it's slingback kitten heels, stiletto heels, they're all kind of really on trend. So these are the Versace All Over Crystal Embellished Satin Slingback Pumps. They come in the black box. Mine came a bit worn for some reason, but they're on sale, so I'm not going to complain. They come with Versace dust bag, tissue paper, the little authenticity certificate. It did also come with a spare pair of heel caps i have already unboxed these this is kind of like a fake unboxing for you so you can kind of see how they come packaged with a little toe stuff in there to keep their shape as well so the versace crystal slingback heels do come in three colors if the pink's not for you they come in a metallic black with almost clear ab crystals on them or they come in a brown gold now they also come in two different styles so the pink and black come with a really true pointed toe the brownie gold has a pointed toe, but right on the end, rather than it going to a true point, it kind of has a tiny square ending. So like all Versace shoes, they are made in Italy and the outer composition is 100% lambskin. The lining is 100% goat leather, which I like because goat is one of the most durable leathers. And then the sole is 100% calf leather. Now in saying that, I want to get mine resold because it's very smooth. It's got no grip. So if you're going to go on carpet, it's going to be like being on an ice rink. I like to have any soles that come like this resold just to give them more grip and to give them more durability. Now the trim is 78% viscose, 28% silk. It's basically satin. So you're gonna to wanna to be really, really careful with this. And even though it is metallic leather on there, I did kind of wear out the heels a little bit on the first time. I've kind of kind of got some wear and tear there. And I wasn't driving, so I don't even know how I did that. I just went for dinner on Christmas day. I feel like heel height's really personal, but being petite, I do like a high heel and these are 4.3 inches or 110 millimeters. So a really good heel height if you're looking for that kind of really classy, elegant evening heel rather than a kitten heel or a slingback flat. Okay, so when it comes to knowing what size to order in these Versace slingback heels, how the sizing runs. Versace's website says these heels run true to size. The other websites say they run slightly big and to order half a size down. Now, I really wish I'd listened to the other sites. I went with Versace Sizing Info just because I thought they would know the best. So I ordered a 37. I'm normally a 37, a size 7. They're too big and they don't come in the 36 and a half anymore. I can't find them anywhere in this color. So I'm stuck with them. But I feel like Versace sizing isn't consistent though because in my pumps I have a 36, in my sandals I have a 36 and a half. There's just no kind of consistency with the sizing. So if you can find them somewhere that offers free shipping and free returns, definitely do that. I would suggest ordering your normal size and then ordering half a size smaller because I've tried everything with these. And although the slingbacks are adjustable, what happens is if they're too loose, I walk and they slip. If I do them too tight, my toes go numb. I mean, I've even tried the toe pads inside just to try and give them a little bit of kind of boost in there to make them fit a little bit more snugly. That didn't work for me either. So I'm still trying to play around to make these work. So I feel like these are gonna be more of a summer shoe when my feet are kind of hotter and more swollen than they are in winter when they are smaller and kind of shrunken and then the shoes are slipping. However, I adjust the sling back. Comfort wise, are the Versace heels comfortable, specifically the Versace Crystal Slingback heels? I'm going to say no, but that could be because I don't have the right size. I feel like if you have the perfect fit, obviously they're going to make it more comfortable. I think when I have the soles put on them to give them more grip and I'm not sliding, it'll make them more comfortable, but they're never going to be for me walking around city shoes or walking around vast casinos and resorts. These to me are get in and out of the car go for dinner, go for drinks, get back in the car. Because I'm slipping in and out of them or my toes are going numb when I do them too tight, they're not gonna be shoes I want to wear for a long period of time. In saying that though, I feel like comfort of Versace shoes is hit and miss and I'll get to that when I review my other Versace shoes. Price-wise, are they worth it? These specific Versace Crystal Embellish Slingback heels are $1,275 before tax. So they've got quite a high price tag. Whether they're worth it or not, 
really depends on how much wear you're going to get out for them. If you can find them on sale, great. I'm going to link a lot of different places to buy them in the description below because once they go on sale, they sell out really, really fast. But I want to give you as many options as possible in all of the different colors so hopefully you can get the best deal possible. But if you're paying $1,275, you're going to want to get wear out of them. I mean, look, how can you not fall in love with these? They are absolutely gorgeous so think about what you'd style them with and what color you would wear the most now i wear a lot of pink as you can see i have a lot of pink in my closet i would wear it with a dress like this tie in the whole versace element i've worn it with plain white and plain black because i wasn't sure if my versace bag would go and it does now they're not a perfect match but they're close enough so if you're wearing a solid black a solid white some other color it's a way of tying the whole look together rather than just having a random pink pair of shoes and it's far enough away from your feet that you get away with it being not a perfect match you could also style it with jeans and a shirt jeans and a camisole jeans and a bodysuit and a blazer they're a lot more versatile than you think but it's also because crystal and glam metallic styles are really in not just for the nighttime anymore but for the daytime style with more casual looks so throw them on with your shorts throw them on maybe with a short cord set there are loads of ways to wearing them besides just with a pink cocktail dress okay let me show you some more of my versace shoe collection so these are my absolute favorite Versace heels hands down it's the white Medusa sandals now the reason I say that is I've had these for years and I have worn them so so much I have the matching bag it seemed like a lot to spend in the beginning buying the matching shoes and bag but in saying that if you can afford it I will always recommend doing that going forward because you always have a cohesive outfit then if you're not sure what you're going to style it with wearing matching shoes and bags just ties the whole look together and I've worn these shoes and bag combo so so much and another reason I like these is they fit me perfectly the slingbacks and my pumps don't fit me great so they don't get so much wear these are a 36 and a half. I've worn them all the time. And also the ankle strap gives you more support. So they didn't have to be a perfect fit. The other thing is they're such a classic style. I feel like a lot of the time Versace is very, very fashion forward. Their statement shoes, whether it's a giant platform, whether it's a giant logo, hardware, square toe. These are a classic. They're that regular sole. They're a good height stiletto heel. They have the ankle strap. They have their classic gold Medusa everywhere, a really nice solid buckle on there. And you can see how much I've worn them. I mean, look, they're absolutely worn out. I've had them repainted, resold. See what I said about getting them sold with a grip sole and then also re-heeled. They're just a shoe I'm gonna wear on repeat and literally until they need throwing in the bin. Okay, now when I said Versace does beautiful shoes, I'm not lying. Some of the most beautiful shoes in my closet are Versace shoes, Versace heels. They do a really, really good job of just doing glam feminine styles. And I think that's true for the whole Versace aesthetic. So these Versace heels are red satin. I size down a full size in these for a size 36. Again, I just don't find Versace sizing in their shoes consistent. So when you're buying Versace shoes, if you can try them on, definitely try because it's not consistent style to style. Now, as gorgeous as they are, again, these were love at first sight. It wasn't a practical buy, but I was Mrs. Nevada at the time. I saw them. I saw the crowns. I was like, okay, I have to have them. They're such a pageant girl shoe. The color is a beautiful shade of red. The heel height is good. I love everything about them except for the fit and the comfort. Because they don't fit me properly, I've tried insoles, I've tried toe stuffers, I've tried heel grips. I end up not wearing them. I've probably worn them three times, which is disgusting considering how much I pay for them and how long I've had them. But because they don't fit, in the winter they're slopping up and down, in the summer they're too tight. They tend to get just stuck on the shelf, looking pretty, but not getting any use out of them. So these were kind of a miss for me, unfortunately. Okay, so now I've showed you all of my Versace shoe collection, my favorite white sandals, my pink crystal slingback heels, and my red pumps. They've definitely all got pros and cons. Favorite, probably prettiest, probably regret buy. If you have any of these, if you have any other Versace shoes you've had experience with, drop them in the comments in below. Drop me what your favorite Versace shoes are. Drop me your thoughts on how they fit as well. And then we can kind of compare notes and see if it's just me with funny feet sizing or if you find they don't run consistently size to size either. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a quick thumbs up and subscribe.